A-level chemistry quick test video on calculations and this video concentrates on solution calculations. So a couple of questions to try, here's the first one, so if you want to pause the video have a go at that and then play on when you're ready for the answers and then we'll look at the second one. Okay so for this one we're going to calculate the volume in cm cubed of the acid required to react with that many grams of magnesium carbonate. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the moles of magnesium carbonate, mass over MR, so 8.897 times 10 to the minus 3. Then I'm going to use the mole ratio in the equation to work out how many moles of hydrochloric acid we need, so it's twice as many. And now we know the moles, we know the concentration, we're going to do volume equals moles divided by concentration, but remember that our answer comes out in decimeters cubed, so if we multiply by 1,000, we get 89 cm cubed to three significant figures. Okay, so here's the second one. So again, if you want to pause the video, have a go at this and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So there's a bit more to this one. Essentially, we've got to find out how many grams of uh, sodium hydroxide are in that two grams and express that as a percentage. So the first thing we're going to do is work out how many moles of uh, sulfuric acid we used in the titration, in that 25 cm cubed. So that's concentration times volume. And remember the volume has to be in decimeters cubed. So we need to divide the cm cubed by 1000 to put it into decimeters cubed. So that's 2.46 times 10 to the minus 3. The moles of sodium hydroxide that must have been present is going to be 2 times that from the mole ratio. So we just double the 2.46 times 10 to the minus 3 and we get that. Now these moles were in 25 cm cubed, but the solution was 250, so we need to multiply that by 10. So these must be the moles of sodium hydroxide that are in the solution, that were dissolved in the solution. So we're going to convert that to grams by multiplying by the MR of sodium hydroxide, which is 40. So we get 1.968 grams. So of the 2 grams, 1.968 grams were sodium hydroxide. So as a percentage, that's 98.4%.